Hey, John from Bright Gauge here, walking you through the proper steps of turning uh, any gauge on your account into a snapshot gauge. Uh, please be aware that you can only access the snapshot gauge feature if you're on the enterprise plan. Um, snapshot gauges are to be used as a data warehousing tool. Essentially what you can do is uh, find a metric that you want to track over time and then also see the trend um, in that metric. And with the snapshots, you'll pick a certain cadence, either daily, weekly, monthly, to grab that data, throw it onto a graph, and then you can add that trend line to, like I said, see the trend in that data. Now, the important uh, note to make here with the snapshot gauges is that you cannot have a dimension applied uh, to the gauge um, to turn it into a snapshot. It must be a singular number. So with the technician, technician utilization gauge, excuse me, uh, we'll come here and remove uh, the dimensions from each layer. So I'll go here to layer two, remove that dimension. And you can see layer three is simply a calculated metric. I'll select the number gauge. And you'll see that it'll show me the most recent uh, collective value for that technician utilization, which is 48%. And I can select this uh, gauge that looks like a camera. That's our snapshot gauge. And it'll throw that 48% in the top right corner. Now, the most recent data will always appear in this top right corner. And then once you start uh, gathering and uh, taking snapshots, you'll see the plots appear on the graph in the middle of the gauge here. To set the cadence of the snapshots, you come over here to design and you'll see a schedule green button here in the middle of the design tab. And you can see here where you can select daily or weekly or monthly. And you can even select down to the day of the month that you want the snapshot to be taken. And if you want it to be taken in the morning or the evening, and then you can limit the amount of data points on your graph to show either one all the way up to the last 90 data points. Now I'll show you a quick example of uh, a snapshot gauge that has already been built. Uh, this is actually a solved tickets daily snapshot. So you can see over time that every day the different data points are plotted onto this graph. Uh, it builds out this line and then we've added a trend line in the middle of the graph um, to let us know which direction we're truly moving in. And that trend line is also set here from the design tab. So we have the scheduling option here. Right below that, you see the global settings. You click on trend line. You select yes. And you can select the color that you would like that trend line to appear in. Another important note about the snapshot gauges is that drill down is not available on these different data points throughout the graph. The only drill down that will be available is for the most recent data that appears here in the top right. So if I click on four, you can see the drill down opens up and gives me that more granular information. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at brightgauge.com.